Greetings and welcome back to Pocket Ants. And we have arrived at the second anniversary event. It began yesterday evening for me. It's late morning the next day at the moment. So I'm about 16 hours into this event right now. Like I said in the previous video, there's no rush. As long as the chocolate cake has a significant amount of time in two different days. And as you can see at the top, I don't have any activity at all, so I better get to work. And by the way, I like everything I see on the screen here. But first, we have to start working on that activity, so let's do something about that. Now, at the moment, my workers are all set to convert leaves into food. That is, of course, how we're going to get activity from the chocolate cake. By the way, you can see I've kind of contained the uh, red ant colony at the moment. We're going to be visiting them next. And I do believe the first acorn is in the area too. So we're going to talk about activity and hopefully we're going to come out of this video with a two-star emperor scorpion. And then tomorrow, well I should say later today, hopefully I can get more. All right, so there is the chocolate cake right there. And I have not touched it. It is not activated. Let's take a look here. You'll notice that there's a big old uh, cake over here on the left side, but there's no counter on that because I have not interacted with it. And that is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to use that as a source. Okay, and now you can see the counter has begun. But that's fine because I have a lot left of today and I have a lot of tomorrow to fully utilize that chocolate cake. And here they come. Here they come. They're going to go get me a whole bunch of that stuff, and it's all going to count as activity. You can see activity bar zero. When they come back down, I'm going to get one activity for every food they gather. And remember, they have to gather as food. Now, once you fill the activity twice, and you can't do any more summoning, feel free to get some leaves from that, because it is an endless source of food and leaves. So you might as well fill up while you can. Okay, so I've taken care of an ornery spider who was wandering around. So why don't we uh, pay a small visit to the ant colony? I've already made myself known to them. So why don't we just go over and say hi? This, of course, if you look at the indicator here, is a source of activity. The first one there, conquer the red ant hill. 200. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm not really doing it for the activity as much as I want more gems. Yeah, I have 14,011 gems, but I want more. I want all the gems. So why don't we just go over here? It will speed the process up too, you know. And as you can see, there is an acorn right over there next to the corpse of the monarch butterfly. <laughs> I will never lose that. All right, so let's see here. Hi, guys. How's things going over here? Wait a minute. Hold it a second. It says there's 12 over there. I, I, I don't see 12. I see three. Okay, I'm very confused. Hi, guys. How you doing? Could you just kill them? Oh, no, 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 no. No kill me. No, 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 no. The ladies have something to say about that. All right, so can I just squeeze in there and quickly end this? There we go. Go get her. She's a pretender, a phony. Oh, a 10. I got 10 from that. Awesome. And I think there's a little tiny itty bitty reward, but I'm going to squeeze. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, daily, right? Oh, yippee, seeds. I'm actually really low on seeds because I have no intention of gathering from that location. Okay, so if we look over here now, ooh, I got 200 from here, but I also got an extra 150 from my workers. My workers, of course, I sent 150 of them. They all went at once. They all came back at once. So that's where the 350 came from. All right, so there's no real dangers left on the screen, so... I'm going to go grab an acorn and start looking around, and we are going to continue to talk about this event. All right, and of course, I am restoring my army, but guys, I'm okay. All right, so let's go see what's in this acorn, because I am curious as to, okay, it's not an acorn. It's a little anniversary cake. Shouldn't it have two candles? 
I'm thinking it should have two candles, but that's just me. All right, so what do we got? What do we get? Okay, I got food. All right, looks like we're going to get the materials, which is good because I'm kind of low in a bunch of things, so I don't really have a problem with that. Now, we looked over here, and like I said, I like everything I see. The thing I like the most about this event, after, of course, the Emperor Scorpion, is the rewards at the bottom. We are going to be getting honeydew during this event. Now, the event usually runs about 18 days. I didn't do the calculation, but it probably is still 18 days. And as you can see, there's 10 at the bottom here, including the final prize. So all you have to do is make sure you come in 10 of those 18 days, claim, and you will get honeydew. Honeydew is a very good reward because no one can steal it from you. Now, the problem that I have is that uh, I can't hold all of that. So I'm literally going to have to spend some in this episode, but I do know what I'm going to do. Now, in terms of everything else that's going to give activity, all right, we did the, uh, the red ant hill, uh, gathering chocolate. It should say gathering chocolate as food. Remember, you have to gather it as food. Now, honeydew from the aphids. If you can see on the map over here, or is it here? Yeah, they're right down there. If you want to go into that mess and come out with three honeydew, go ahead. It's just way too much trouble for me. Way, way too much trouble. And uh, yeah, I'm not, not going to do it. If there was a decent chance of a good reward, I'd risk it. But it isn't. It isn't. Like I said, I'll fight all of those fire ants and I'll come up with like three or four honeydew after I escort it all the way back. You know, pick one. Escort or deal with that. Not both. Either that or give us a significant amount. Maybe every one we save is like 10 honeydew, you know, something like that. Give me a reason to do it. I've literally come back with nothing because I just got attacked so badly that everybody got killed. And that was a lot of trouble for nothing. All right. And in terms of the pheromones, attacking, if you don't want to attack other people, you can do Dr. Zanny. The thing is, it's a one for one. Now, the acorns, I already got one. That was an extra 20. There's nine more on the screen, and of course, you're also going to get uh, uh, materials from that, too. It seems like they're just giving us the basic stuff, but that's actually useful as well. Uh, especially for me, because as I mentioned, I have a honeydew issue. You can see at the top, I have 4655, but I can only hold 5,000, which means very soon I'm going to have to use something here. And unfortunately, I can't hold enough to buy the two things that would be very good to get, which would be this one down here, increasing the size of my little portable army. That would be nice. And this one over here, putting them to sleep, increasing that to 45 seconds would be really nice. I mean, that's an extra 20 seconds. Um, however, I do see a couple of things that I can get. Uh, for instance, speeding up the worker ants, especially in a situation like this, or if you're going for resin, Sounds like a really good idea, if you know what I mean. Um, another thing that's kind of useful, and uh, this one down here, this is the invincibility. I mean, 3,200 for an extra 15 seconds, probably going to do that. But at the moment, I need to do something now. And that something now is going to be hopefully something useful in this event, which is I'm going to add an extra 2% to the success rate for fusions. Because here's the thing. We're still in the realm of RNG. I want to get two three-star Emperor Scorpions, which means I have to succeed in those merges. So any extra percentage is good for me. All right. And of course, I do now have room to gather some honeydew, but I'm going to have to keep my eyes on it. I'm thinking this is going to be the next one that I do. Uh, adding um, 15 seconds to my invulnerability just sounds like a really good idea. All right, in the meantime, how are we doing, by the way? Okay, we're closing in. I mean, that's why the chocolate cake is so useful. Yes, I knocked out the red ants. That's 200. Yes, I grabbed one acorn. That's 20. But look what's up there now. That would have been an extra 600 in a few minutes. Otherwise, the activity is hard to come by. All right, so, by the way, I'm sorry. I left you guys over there. See, now I see 12. That was weird. All right. So since I'm over here and I am waiting a bit, I'm just going to do a little bit of a search pattern, although I should go up to the middle of the map. 
All right, so when you're searching for the acorns, um, come up with a search pattern. Here's one that I have found. First of all, always search the middle first. This is what I mean. See this little bar next to me here? Now, if you look, that's basically the middle of the screen. So what I like to do is to, first of all, just make sure here. Okay, there we go. And then just head straight across. And then keep my eyes on the mini map. Let me tell you something. More than 50% of the time, you will see it. It may not be in front of you. It may be just on the edge of the top or the bottom. But it's a pretty good way of finding it. At that point, if you don't, well, you know, pick the bottom, pick the top. You can do it with three lanes as long as you know what you're doing. So, okay, so here I don't, oh, there it is. See, it is right on the edge up there. All right, so let's just pop up there and grab that. All right, a little cake there. Let's grab some of that. I could use some seeds. Okay, I got leaves. That's fine. All right, so how are we doing over here? Oh, we're nearly done. All right, let me just move him down. Actually, we're going to have to go back because I have to set up a hunting party, don't I? And I don't want it to spawn right on top of me. That's too terrifying. All right, so another thing, if you've been playing this game for a while, is make sure that you have space. Having space in your creature storage is fine. As you see, I'm going to have a problem, so I need to start getting rid of things. Uh, I can think of one thing that I could do is it attempt a merger between my three-star bombardier and the other three-star bombardier. I mean, if it succeeds, I get a four, right? If it fails, I'm going to get rid of one anyway. So not a big deal. As a matter of fact, why don't we just take care of that first? All right, and swap them. Okay, what did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. There it goes. All right, it just didn't move into the same position. All right, like I said, it's a 20% chance. If it succeeds, terrific. If it doesn't, I was going to get rid of it anyway, right? And it failed. Like I said, I was going to get rid of it anyway. And I'm also... Here, let me move this guy back down here. Who did I move up? Oh, uh, the ghost. That's it. All right. Um, yeah, this one over here, I'm just going to get rid of the two-star bombardier because I'm just not going to collect them anymore. There's no reason for it. Right? So, confirm. All right, so I have four spots open. That's going to be very useful to me. All right, are we done? We've got to be done by now. Yep, we're done. So attract. Okay, and he's right over there. All right, so now they're going to start filling the bar again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my friends over here. So, of course, it's basically a scorpion. I'm sure it's the same knock him out and then drag him off to the friendship chamber. Yeah, even though I think they have renamed that. Where is it here? The Creature's Chamber, right. Uh, in an earlier video, I used to call it the Friendship Chamber. Recently, I got an email saying, no, it's not, it's this. And I said, no, I, I, it's a Friendship Chamber. And I think that uh, they have agreed with me since they have renamed it. It was a very unfortunate... Okay, wow, he's actually kind of fast, isn't he? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the... What? What is going on there? Okay, um, I need to get close enough. Go... What? Okay, he turns blue at night? I do not understand that. All right, very important. Capture. Very important. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Or ladies, I should say. All right, so while we're waiting, it's probably going to take like a minute and a half or something like that. Um... Yeah, they used to name it something else. It really wasn't a good choice of name. I'm glad that they have actually changed it. All right, so I'm just going to continue my um, search pattern here. How are we doing? Okay, that's going good. That's going good. All right, so I've gotten two of the acorns already. Like I said, you go down the middle. You have a high probability of seeing it. may not be directly ahead of you, but it might be up or down or something like that. And at that point, basically just pick up or down. You should be able to... Okay, so right there. I didn't run into it, so I'm going to go up. So you can, you have three trails, you can cover the entire board. So if you get lucky, you know, maybe you got it in the middle. Okay, Wow, that didn't take very long at all. Okay, 
Well, you know what? I, I need to gather. That's what I need to do. But first thing, actually, I shouldn't say that. The first thing is we need to find out about our new friend, don't we? All right, so let's go over to the collection. All right, these are the normal ones. And uh, you can see the special ones are basically mapped right across. So you can see the regular scorpion is on the left in the middle. So that's where the emperor scorpion is going to be. Okay, so let's go. Emperor scorpion, special, in the wild. This scorpion primarily consumes insects and other terrestrial invertebrates, although termites constitute a large portion of their diet. What we really want to look at, of course, is the, um, the stats. All right, his health seems very high. We're going to compare him with the previous one, by the way. So we're just going to look at this. The attack rate is maximum. His speed is about 60%. He's running about 80% on the health. So let's compare him with the previous one. Oh, wow. He has a lot more health, doesn't he? He's, he's obviously a bit faster on the attack rate, and his speed is much better. But the health is an outstanding difference there. I mean, right here, this guy's running at about 30%? About 30%. And the other one is about 90% on the attack rate. And the speed is about 40%. But if you go back over to this fellow here, his health is about 80%. Attack rate, 100%. And the speed looks about 60 to me. So, wow, that's uh, a really meaty scorpion there. Really meaty. Look out for the score. Look out, termites. He might be hungry. Okay, so he's currently sitting over here. We need another one if we're going to do merging, right? All right, did I start moving over? Yes, I did. All right, so I need to find acorns, right? So let's just see if we can find another one, and then we'll probably do a little bit of a time skip. How are they doing? I mean, they're moving along pretty good. If you speed up the workers, that could have been another thing that I did, by the way, is speed up the workers. That way this would obviously be a quicker process. And it's very useful if you're going to go for the termites, of course, because, you know, you're up there, you're holding the area, and the workers are running back and forth collecting the uh, resin, and um, that can be very, very useful. All right, I think it's going to be on the bottom, isn't it? Unless I luck out here at the end. Yeah. You know what? It wouldn't surprise me if it was right next to the aphids can't tell you how many times that happened to me. All right, so I'm going down to do the bottom now. This is basically the worst case scenario that you don't catch it in the middle and you don't catch it on your first try. You know how long I've had that um, seed pile sitting there? It's because I don't want it to move because the red ants go right through my, um, my colony there when they're trying to get to it and they just get destroyed by my soldiers, even if I'm not paying attention. Okay, so let's uh, go across the screen here, making sure I can see the entire bottom. Hello, ladies. How are you doing today? And then what we'll do is we'll just basically wait until... Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, I mean, that's the worst case scenario where you catch it towards like the end of the last trail. The middle is good because sometimes it can just pop up right on the screen, you know? Oh, seeds. I needed seeds. All right, I'm not going to do any more searching for the moment. Although, if I happen to see it, that would be nice, right? All right, so what we're going to do now, because we need to get a second one and we need to try our first merge, right? So what do we got here? All right, so why don't we just wait until that bar is full? All right, as you can see, we're rapidly approaching 1,000 here. It's coming in at a big burst, so I'm guessing the group came in at once. Uh, one other thing we need to do is to take a quick look at the uh, event skins, the new skins. I, I usually end up forgetting to do that, but I did remember it this time, so we'll take a quick look. Um, they can be kind of interesting. I know I've bought a few in my time. I have the Santa one, and the one that I'm actually wearing now is actually a skin as well. So we're nearly there. And as soon as we get to 1,000 and do the attract, that's it for the activity. There's no reason to gather specifically for food, unless, of course, it's what you want. There we go. And then attract. 
Right. And now it's saying max, which means I cannot do any more today. Fortunately, when the next day begins, I'm going to have 16 hours of the chocolate cake to get two more Monarch Scorpions. But in the meantime, why don't we just do this? I mean, there's no reason to uh, monopolize, right? We'll do this for now to try to make up for the difference. Because I would like to fill it up because if I want to hold more honeydew in the future, I'm going to need 8,000 food. Oh, and seeds. I didn't realize it was seeds. Ooh, that's going to that's gonna suck. Well, look at it this way. It would probably be, have to be an event in the future that I would get honeydew, right? Okay, so where's our new friend? Okay, so we're just going to go over, say hi, knock him out, uh, drag him back, put him in the chamber, and then attempt to merge with the one that we have already. So what could possibly go wrong for him? As long as it succeeds, his essence will be merged into a more powerful scorpion. If it fails, well, we'll just say he survived. How about that? Okay, I actually kind of fat. Oh, do that. Good. I got close enough. Never, ever, 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 ever stand in front of a creature. He will always go after you if he can. Okay. You know, for somebody who's got that kind of health, I do realize I have a lot of them there. But his health does seem to be going down pretty quickly. All right. I nearly hit the kill button, too, because I'm so used to that. Capture. Okay, so it took less, it took about a minute the last time, didn't it? So, yeah, I mean, that's going to be uh, a quickie right there. So, I mean, I don't need to gather anything for activity now until the next game day begins. That would be about eight hours at this point. All right, so disband. And then we're going to take our first shot at this. I'm going to see, it was really quick the last time. So, is that about a minute? Yeah, it's about a minute. Look, it's 26. It was about halfway. Hey, wait a minute. You you look a little, lot bigger when I saw you outside. Just saying. All right, so we're going to go outside. And before we do the merge, we'll take a look at it. But I don't want it interfering with my screen. All right, you know, we'll just do this. All right, so not this one here. It's actually in the gem shop. All right, so... In the, in the bottom here, towards the middle, and then the left here, you can see ant skins, right? So let's go take a look at the new one. Okay, we got a little party hat here. So the first one here on the left, yeah, we got a little party hat. Um, how much is that one? I went 500, because it is a special one, right? I mean, if you want special colors, like I went for the green one, right? That one, I think, was only like 200 gems, right? And the, um, the ones that I got... Are they here? Okay, this, I guess the Santa one would be at the bottom. Where is my Santa? Actually, that's a good question. Where is my Santa? I guess they have them all here already. Oh, there it is. There's my Santa one right there. All right, and then I have this one here too. This is the one I'm currently using. It's green. It looks like it's got a little cat face on there too. But all right, let's go back here. So we got the, the party hat, and it shows you what it looks like on all of them. Your workers, your uh, your workers, your soldiers, and then I think the queen. I think that's the queen, right? Okay, then we have this one. Not really sure. What's, it's blue. It's a bright blue, you know. And okay, I don't know why... Okay, I mean, maybe, uh, I, got, I got to be honest about it. I have no idea why somebody would want that to look, their ants look like that. I honestly, I don't. The other ones are absolutely fine. I like the little party hat there. Looks like it's almost a little smile there on the middle one there, you know. Um, I, I don't, I don't know what's up with that one. I don't. I really don't know what's up with that one. But I mean, the thing is, you buy it, you know, it's gems. You can get gems in the game if you just, especially during an event like this, where you're going to be going after the uh, the Red Ant Hill. You just saw, I just got an extra 10. And during this event, they respawn every six hours. Now, I'm not going to need that for today. I'm not going to need that for tomorrow. But I will need that after that, because that's going to be one of my main sources of activity. Now, let's get going with that merge, shall we? Hopefully this works out. All right, who am I going to swap out here? Why don't we do the orchids? All right, so you, 
u swap u okay u and u swap all right so we got an emperor an emperor and we have a 95 percent chance i failed not in the last event the previous event i i failed the first time we tried this all right so let's do this success i would i i would have given you a bestial scream if that had failed considering i just invested to boost it up and it wasn't 95 percent okay so why don't we just uh put him back put them back all right so i'm gonna need two more which i'm gonna get either tonight or tomorrow and then I'm going to try that merge to try to get a three star. That would be my first three star. Hopefully it succeeds. But I'm going to have to succeed in the two star that I get from the two I'm going to get. And then merging this two star with that two star. And then hopefully I can get another one. Um, I got things I can get rid of up here for space. Um, yeah, I mean, for instance, the tiger beetle. Do I need the tiger beetle anymore? I don't need the tiger beetle anymore. Do I need a three star scorpion? I think that the Emperor two-star that I have right there can right now beat that three-star scorpion. So do I need him? No, nah, I don't think so. And as for the other scorpions, yeah, their time is drawing short, I think. I mean, I'll keep one for giggles, but I do think their time is growing short. I don't know, maybe I can unlock one, a slot or something like that. It's just at this point, 400 is kind of expensive to keep things I'm never going to use. You know, like the dragonfly. I mean, I got two Halloween pendants down here that are three star and they're essentially four stars in terms of their power. So why do I need the dragonfly? I don't really. But I think that's going to be it for now. All right, so we have the event going here. You can see I got my two attracts here for the Emperor Scorpion, and I can't do any more. Fortunately, I have a cake with 23 and a half hours left on it, so that is going to help me get two more quite easily. So that's going to be it for now. We'll probably do a testing video maybe Sunday or Monday, and we'll pit him against one, of course, a four-star Scorpion, I don't really think that's going to be much of a match. But then we'll also pit him against the other uh, special attackers to see who is the new champion. I do believe, if my memory is right, the shocking pink dragon millipede, yeah, long name, is the reigning champion. I do believe that's true. I think he edged out the Halloween pennant. I'll have to go back in the last video and look at that, but I do think so. And I think maybe we have a new contender. We'll have to see about that. After all, he is the Emperor. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See you.